the purpose of today's video is to react to something that has been in our comment sections over and over and over. You guys want to see us react to Imitate again? There's just so much about him. We're just going to give our honest reactions. We don't really have opinions right now. Do you have anything to say? I just did the whole intro by myself. I don't know. I just feel like it's going to be outrageous and funny a little bit, but I, I don't know what to expect. I think it'll be funny. I mean, we, we got to see. Again, like we said in our last video, it's just really controversial, and so we think it's funny when things are really controversial. So yeah, let's see if we agree or disagree or just are appalled by it. I don't know. Well, someone made a whole compilation, so we're going to check that out. This is called Andrew Tate About Women. I guess Yes, we should react to it because we are women. Yeah, who else would react to it? Angry women. But we're not we're not the angry ones, okay? We're not gonna get angry over this. I think we're just gonna be a little amused. I don't know what he's gonna say. If my woman replies to a man on Instagram, if she, if she likes another man's photo, she's not fucking I, I inflict, I expect absolute loyalty from my woman. That is not main guarding, that's not beta. That is just basic territorialism that comes with being I have my chicks. Talking to other dudes, liking other dudes. To, my chicks don't go to the club without me. They are at home. And you know what's going on? Thoughts on that? I get what he's saying. I think it really depends on the people that you're liking photos of. If you're dating this person, then you start following a bunch of new guys and liking their photos. That's weird. Why do you need to do that? But if it's a childhood friend or whatever, he, they probably know. And then it's okay. Yeah, I get it. I get it, right? I can validate a lot about what he's saying. I think a lot of people think that just because you're out there on Instagram, even having an Instagram in the first place is like putting a for sale sign up, but it's not even the case. I mean, people can just have fun with it, so. But I think people also make the argument that you can just scroll past a photo and still follow them, but liking it is a different thing. It's like putting in the, oh, I like this photo. But also, are we just all thinking too deep because this is the world we live in now? I think we're all just jealous. I think, yeah, yeah we're all just jealous and a little insecure. So just try and not make your partner jealous if you know that they're jealous. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you wouldn't say something like that if you weren't insecure, but at the same time, wouldn't we all be? Because why would you be liking someone else's pictures if you're in a relationship? I think it's disrespectful. Also, he just said that his girl shouldn't go to the club alone, has to be with him, has to stay at home. Not to defend him or anything, I think he's just exaggerating on the fact that he doesn't want her wilding out. But now, I mean, don't keep her hostage at home, but that, I don't think that's necessarily what he's saying. So... What? Talk about fertility and yeah. looks and stuff. I don't actually think it's that. I think that in the modern world, in the days of old, right, you meet a woman, you get married, you get whatever. In the modern world, if I meet a girl who's 33 and single, I know the amount of dick that's been through her before yeah. me is just simply unattractive. I don't care how nice you are, yeah, yeah. but you're 33 years old. How yeah. many men have fucked? If I got a 19 year old girl, I might be your second or third man, right? I'm gonna be dude number fucking 29, yeah. and all the trauma and heartbreak and bullshit they put you through, mm -hmm. you're gonna try and bring to my door? Yeah. Like, well, my last man cheated. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. It's like, I don't care. Like, why is that my problem? So, if you pick up older women, you have to accept they've been on the carousel longer, they've had more rides more spin i don't want that shit. you're female valid again again i mean it's i have never thought of that though same goes for men though i think i think it goes both ways it's a valid you know what, I, point. I feel like men are primarily just not built the way that women are what do you mean like the, obviously they're gonna experience more like it just makes sense i don't know i mean i think it depends on the person i don't know i don't even really want to comment on this one it just depends on the person right yeah, I mean, he makes sense, but also it doesn't make sense because that's not really realistic, but we'll just go to the next one. Ooh, ooh. This is kind of keeping me up in my chair, to be honest. I know, I'm like, what's next? On my toes, yeah. There, You have a man you genuinely like, and you actually want to keep him happy. The way you think about it is, how can I increase the status of this man? How can I increase his status? How can I make him be perceived more positively in the eyes of his peers? How can I make other men look at him and be jealous of him? That's how you act. You put those pieces in line, you're going to have a very, very happy man. It's really not complicated. So when we say things like, we don't want you going to the club, blah, 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 we're not trying to tie you down or freeze you having fun. It's not about that. It's about the fact that every single stupid bitch is in the club, but my bitch ain't in the club, and that gives me status. <laughs> Why do I? Oh, I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. It's it's about the status thing. I, that's kind of how it's always been. I think throughout history, is men want status, and you're gonna pick someone who's gonna elevate your status. So fair. It's, it's also like what I don't know if this comes across controlling or whatever, but it also is just how many times you go, what you do when you're there, if you're twerking in the middle of the club, what you're wearing, those kind of things. I think it all how you talk. Yeah, it has to do with that. Well, because you're not dumb, you're going to an environment like that knowing what to expect because obviously people are going to come up to you and especially if you're in LA, you just kind of know the crowd going out places like that, but there's, there's exceptions. The best thing about life and the worst thing about life can be the female you're with. 
If you have a good woman by your side who's truly down and understands who you are and who you need to be as a man and supports you the best she can, sometimes she cries and gets upset, whatever. But if she truly does, that can make life a really beautiful thing. And all four of us know that. And all four of us know that. And having a woman who's the opposite, asking you who had a divorce. <laughs> like it can be horrible, horrible. So as a man, managing females in your relationship with females is always going to have a huge impact on how enjoyable life is, whatever, anything. I'll back him up on that. Life is beautiful when you're in love. Speaking from like no you would know. But yeah, but speaking from no experience, we bet it's beautiful to be in love because life is all about relationships and communicating and hanging out with others. I think that's the whole point. And I think that's why they're so fixated on finding the right one and doing it the right way because it's a big aspect of life. Let's play. Oh. I have nothing against women. I believe women are the most precious things on the planet. They create life. They should be protected. They should be provided for. I would never let a woman pay for a bill. I would never let a woman... Uh, if someone touched me and my woman, I would stand up against 10 men by myself and risk my life to protect her. I believe that women are beautiful creatures. I just don't think that they're as emotionally calm as men in stressful situations. I don't think they can fight like a man can. I'm, and for the same reason, I would never drop my children in an all-male nursery. I think that's strange and weird. I would always drop them in an all-female nursery. Women do certain things and men do certain things. And we live in a world now where the whole idea of the roles has been conflated to the fact where if I come along and say women are better with children, men are better at fighting, I'm somehow <laughs> sexist when it's clearly true. There's nothing wrong with stating the facts. It's the truth. Yeah, sad, sick world we live in. I think that's a pretty good truth. It doesn't really reflect reality because of, like he said right now, people are trying to construct things differently. But if you go back to the basics, that's kind of how it is. I think that's how everyone deep down feels. Am I right? It's like the hard truth, yeah. I would decide not to treat because I would decide. However, I would not see my infidelity as nearly anywhere near even 1% as disgusting as female. Just female infidelity is in those emotions. You will not see the man in that life. I can see the man in that life. I don't want to say he's like 20% right, but 80%, you just can't give people that. I think it's true that a lot of the guys think like that. That's sad. And I can see why, but I don't think it's right. Yeah. And I get that with females' emotions more involved, but with a man, like, come on. Self control and discipline are just necessary on a man's part and a woman's part. A lot of people say, here's what I've heard. Like, oh, a relationship is 50-50. But I think you have to have 100%. Each partner has to have 100% into the relationship, commitment-wise. Oh, commitment-wise, for sure, yeah. It takes two, though. Yeah, exactly. So, um, yeah, cheating, that's just, that's a crazy topic. And I'm scared for that ever to happen in my life. But, or in your life, ooh, that's just like, it's gross. But I guess, like he said, men don't get super emotionally attached. So there's that point, but, but then just don't do it. <laughs> The argument is like, ew, yeah, no, throw yeah. it away. We're better than that. A woman won't do that. So don't lie to me and pretend. No, you won't. Any woman who will sit here and say, I can do to not care about them is fundamentally broken. Her soul is broken. Well, if she's broke, you shouldn't hear me. I don't want a broken bitch near me. You think so? Well, those are the couple that have That was a bit harder to swallow than the last video, I'll say. Was it? I think it was just bringing up topics that I've always kind of thought about. Those things that you don't want to seek answers for, like the truth about men and women and are the world that we live in or just cheating. Like that stuff is just so deep. You can go on and on and on about it. It is kind of like a black hole once you start going down. But that was just honestly thought provoking is the word. I, I like what I like those TikToks. They weren't graphic and weird. I don't know, I gotta say I agree with him for the most part. There's some parts where, no, just... It kind of makes no. me feel down about the world and the state that we're in and just how people can do evil things to other people and that's just what I kind of got from this. I don't know why, maybe my mood just got brought a little bit down, but he's right when he says that men want a woman that brings up their status by not, you know, going to the club, doing all these crazy things. Just because that's kind of reality. I mean, I've spoken to other guys and they feel the same way. Yeah, I guess I just disagreed when he said that it's worse for a woman to cheat. I think it's just bad for people in general to cheat. Like, just don't cheat. Yeah, come on. Let's put 100% into each relationship. Also, let us know what you guys think about this. Um, comment down below your thoughts on the different parts that we reacted to here. Um, it's, it's a lot. And uh, we'll do more of these if you guys are interested in seeing. Yeah, I was going to say, send us videos. We watch videos all across the board, so you can send us whatever. And we'll react to it and give our opinion. Hope you guys liked our opinion.